Hello and welcome to News X Auto. My name is Shiraz and as you can see, I've got the Citroen C3 Air Cross review for you. Now, uh, you may have already noticed. However, I must still tell you that I have uh, made two videos, okay, about its interiors, space essentially, okay, and I've compared it to uh, the Kiger. You may want to check those videos out, and you will get to know everything, okay, from the boot space, uh, you know, whether three people are more comfortable in this or the Kiger, and uh, headroom, legroom, knee room, everything, okay. In this video, I'll uh, drive the car and tell you all about it. First of all, the visibility. Okay, all around visibility is fantastic. I'm sure you can see the bonnet as well. Okay, and see, I don't know whether you know it does justice. The camera does justice to this. <laughs> I wouldn't do this. Okay, in any of its competitors. Except uh, the high rider all wheel drive, okay. Some vehicles they give you that confidence that yeah you can take them almost anywhere. All right, so uh, the all around visibility is great, and of course uh, the rear view camera, the reversing camera, it helps you while reversing, and uh, you know the clarity is decent. It does not get guidelines, uh, but I'm sure, okay. Uh, all you want essentially is the clarity and yes it does help okay uh, let's talk about the performance see this is the turbo petrol uh, version and as of now uh, Citroen they haven't put the naturally aspirated engine in it okay this 1.2 petrol okay is a fantastic performer I have uh, put the 0 to 100 acceleration video please take a look and it it does uh, the 0 to 100 sprint in what somewhere around 11 seconds 11 11, 11 and a half seconds uh, the 160 ps competition okay they do it in somewhere around 10 seconds okay that's the only difference you would not even feel it plus I noticed that those turbo patrols okay when you are uh, when you want to overtake okay they do have power however you do have to you know press the uh, accelerator pedal a lot more in uh, those cars whereas in this one okay a little dab and uh, you know you are off so the point is uh, the throttle inputs required in this one okay for uh, the same amount of progress okay especially in like second third and fourth gears okay is less so that basically means that over a period of time you will get less tired okay uh, again everything contributes so you will get less tired in this car and uh, that also reiterates the fact that the performance be it you know the standing start acceleration or the in gear acceleration so right now I'm in fourth gear okay and so in both the areas the performance is fantastic okay and I must mention something else too uh, most people have this bad habit okay of uh, keeping their hands on the gear lever okay in manual cars here even if you suffer from that bad habit the armrest would help okay so if you'll notice the armrest will take the weight of your arm okay and your hand would be on around <laughs> on or around the gay lever and even if you even if you you know just let your hand like the uh, your hand like this it there would be no weight on the gay lever okay and you can just so the hand the armrest it not only uh, makes your uh, you know life comfortable inside more comfortable uh, it also helps in taking the weight of the gear uh, lever and uh, makes it relatively easier okay to change gears <laughs> 
so yeah uh, ergonomically it's 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 you know a nice cabin the again you know they are french they have to put in at least one or two quirks <laughs> the power window switches come on citroen you should have you have enough space here you should have given the power windows power window switches for the rear uh, you know windows here i mean they are here <laughs> that's inconvenient okay uh about time the french manufacturers get these uh, things right other than that uh, every control is where you expect it to be uh, so yeah i was coming back to performance there is ample performance everywhere okay and uh, even at now while talking about the performance let me tell you about the cruising speeds see i have made another i have made a dedicated video to the cruising uh, speed rpm please watch that uh, but even here i will tell you that in 6 gear 100 km per hour is 2000 rpm it's just a shade above 2000 rpm it could be like 2020 rpm 2050 rpm it is not 2100 rpm okay you can say that yeah it is 2000 rpm and the cabin sound okay is so basically uh, the uh, the nvh levels are fantastic okay at 100 uh, the cabin is uh, uh, i was about to say quite quiet <laughs> okay it's a tongue twister so yes i'll say that again the cabin is quite quiet even at 120 even at uh, you know 140 uh, there are no uh, i would say that if you ask me can we cruise comfortably at 140 yes you can okay there's not a lot you know, there's uh, there's not a lot of noise that comes in uh, in you know inside the cabin so you and your family members would be comfortable uh, even at 130 140 okay and uh, the stability okay the stability at 140 is fantastic okay uh high speed lane changes are not at all nervous all right which brings me to uh, talk about the handling itself see uh, i have mentioned in uh, most of my uh, your reviews that there are two parts of handling okay there are essentially three so let me tell you all three one is to pertain to the steering itself one whether the steering is direct or not okay uh, so uh, when i say that i mean you would uh, a direct steering you would know that okay this is the amount of input that i am giving and this is exactly the amount of response that i am getting okay uh, the car is going exactly in the direction i want to okay so uh, that and then whether the steering has weight or not third is the chassis behavior okay how flat or not it stays in a corner let me try to i hope no one is coming from the wrong side as yes, no one so the handling is fantastic all right now uh talking about those three parts see overall uh, no hyundai no kia and definitely no maruti comes close to the handling okay however i would bring here uh, i i would actually mention the skoda kushak now if you saw my review of the skoda kushak i have mentioned that the chassis behavior is fantastic okay uh, there is minimal body roll okay it stays like you know a lot flatter than its competition in the corners okay this comes close but here okay the kushak is uh, you know it decidedly has an edge uh the steering weight this has again a decided edge over the kushak steering directness okay uh the skoda kushak okay the steering is comparatively uh, more direct than this one all right overall 
I would say that it's a tie or you can say that you know if uh, I would give uh, the Kushak on overall handling say uh, 9 okay I would give this an 8.8 .8. that is how close you know uh, the handling of these two vehicles is okay see uh, but the overall behavior because this has exceptional ride quality okay yeah so now I'll talk about ride quality the Kushak is nowhere close nowhere okay forget Kushak the most expensive uh, you know Skoda that too uh, you know their SUV the Kodiak that vehicle's ride quality is nowhere near the ride quality of this vehicle that is how brilliant the ride quality of this Citroen C3 Aircross is of course you know no Hyundai no Creta no Maruti comes anywhere close to this uh, vehicle's ride quality this is another level altogether guys so you know what if you want the most comfortable uh, vehicle the most uh, the vehicle with the most outstanding ride quality buy this one with your eyes closed okay your you will thank your stars your family will thank you okay uh, if you are uh, pursuing a girl okay and the girl says yes but you know you want to you'll have to talk to my parents you know just uh, convince her uh, you know for a drive in this vehicle like convince her to get her parents in a drive okay in this vehicle uh, they'll say uh, yes it is that bloody good now uh, what about fuel efficiency see uh, fuel efficiency of turbo petrols okay can generally uh, you know when when you drive pedal to metal it you know uh, all turbo petrols in this segment uh, you know will show you less than uh, you know 10 kilometers per hour, uh, 10 kilometers per liter so they do uh, drop down uh, you know the fuel efficiency figures they do drop down to uh, you know to single digits in this vehicle I did not see that despite the acceleration runs okay despite uh, driving it uh, quite spiritedly the fuel efficiency figure did not drop down to single digits ever all right so yes you can conclude that in fact i can conclude it for you that the fuel efficiency would be better than its competition yes now uh, the verdict see uh, the brochure uh, journalists okay the brochure youtubers as well okay i do not call them reviewers i call them brochure readers now these people have actually uh, led the masses to believe that the wireless charging is essential okay auto headlamps they are essential auto wipers they are essential sunroof is essential all right and that is sad okay a real reviewer would tell you that good handling is important in fact good handling makes the car safer because you know exactly how the car would behave okay you are more in control okay so you'll so essentially when the when you have a lot more control over the car okay the car behaves uh, nicely the chances of you getting into an accident okay are lesser uh, as compared to a car that does not handle well okay plus the right quality I mean in 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 our country that should be uh, the most important priority of people the right quality all right uh, air conditioning okay it it may not have uh, it does not have uh, you know auto climate control okay but tell me one thing what do you want from your AC okay the AC should be cooling the cabin effectively and this does a brilliant job okay right now it's at one and in Delhi we are actually experiencing quite hot weather right now okay also uh, please tell me okay hand on your heart even in cars with auto uh, you know 
climate control do you just set temp you know one temperature and forget about it or do you not have to you know play around with it uh, you know in your journey or even in your commute okay you have to how much time does this take okay in, in a climate control system you do have to you know either fiddle with the touch screen or uh, you know uh, the temperature settings so yeah it takes <laughs> i would say it takes a lot more time you know this takes comparatively less having said that uh, since people you know uh, they uh, kind of equate the premiumness of a vehicle with these features yes citroen should have uh, thought about you know giving it auto climate control however if you ask me as far as the effectiveness of the ac and as far as the ease is concerned i would prefer this to be honest okay the only feature that is really uh, you know missing and uh, the only feature about which i would want to complain that come on citroen you should not have done this is cruise control please okay we need cruise control okay now uh, you know we there are people okay who do long trips we have brilliant expressways and we need cruise control so citroen please okay uh, give uh, cruise control in the facelift okay and please make sure that it can be retrofitted in the cars which do not have a cruise control you know such as this one so see the point is uh you know if you have at least some amount of brain this would be your default choice to be honest okay uh so the top end uh, creta the uh, top end seltos okay the ex showroom prices are around 20 lakh rupees uh, this one's uh this is not the dual tone again the dual tone and uh, is 20000 more expensive even that is uh, less than 13 13 lakh rupees okay close to 13 lakh rupees this is uh, 20000 rupees less forget everything consider this uh, you know uh, as 13 lakh rupees the automatic is 14 lakh rupees again all ex showroom prices so that basically means even if you get the automatic okay you would still have 6 lakh rupees left I for one would get you know the top end, uh, you know I I would get this and I would get the base C three, okay, and I would still have one lakh rupee change left, okay. Someone who wants an automatic get the automatic, all right, <laughs> and you can you will still have six lakh rupees uh, left to get the base C three. So you'll have two cars in twenty lakh rupees. I mean it's a no brainer, guys. Seriously. So. Uh, you know i would say that if you are in the market for you know uh, a vehicle from this segment take a test drive and take a long test drive and uh, tell him that you want to drive on bad roads you would immediately come back and you'll say you know what take my money give me the vehicle right away it is that good so guys this was my review of uh, the Citroen C3 air cross manual and i'll be uh, you know uh, getting the automatic soon as well if you have any questions about this review if you have any questions that you want me to address in the automatics uh, review please put them in the comment section below even if you do not have a question leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and uh, do hit that like button and i'll see you soon in the next one thank you so much for watching